Then you did that. Home to look on the mat. Suck. And then I had to get up early. played with any wagon that had an offset pickup like this it's super weird yeah right uh i don't know is it because you don't know how to set the other side yeah probably i think uh-huh that's, that's what i was wondering, wondering too it, it was like that in in uh in the fs19 version i think too what's up rusty maybe, maybe he just likes them offset like that who knows yeah maybe i don't know I'm not really gonna complain because at least we got some, what do you call it, super equipment on the console. What's going on, Mr. Rusty? Good to see ya. Hashtag for Rusty. Member for seven months. Uh, we've got room, Rusty. Yeah, we do. If, if you don't wanna join. <clears throat> Sugar beat going. So we'll have to put a load. I want to put a load in uh, or two in our silo and then sell the rest of them. That sugar mill is going to take forever to uh, go through 360,000 liters because it's doing only two at a time. So. Just got home. Go. Cool. Thanks for popping in there, Rusty. This is the best FS community out there. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go here. go appreciate you appreciate that support gentlemen thank you very much i like the idea of these silos with like the little pump rate thing you drive through i uh, like that but it needs to be longer i mean giants just doesn't understand the concept of how big vehicles are <laughs> yeah right it needs to be a lot wider yeah I like them. I like how they're designed. I like that driving through and having to do that. But it, you, you can't use cool wheels and you can't really use wide tires a lot of times. Did you have to work today, Rusty? Oh, he's going to be lurking. Still new.
Oh, well, that's good. Keep you out of trouble. Took Buckley car shopping. Ah, okay. Did he find the car? Rusty? Buying his first car, is he? It's always fun. It has a blue oval on the front. No, bow tie. I think, I think Rusty, Rusty and them, aren't you Dodge fans there, Rusty? You, uh, you coming by here, Josh? To unload or what? Just leaving it here for you guys. Ah, uh, okay. Just trying to get it out of your way so you can turn around. These got lots of room in it because this is the Colossus, so like, I think it's like 250 million liters or something like that. Holds a lot. Thanks. Hey, Gary, what's going on? Welcome in. Dodge fan, no, um, I'm a Ford fan, two and three. Oh, okay, I thought you guys were, thought you were Dodge, not bad about everything, right? Closest thing to a Dodge I owned was a Jeep. Always been uh, Chevy GM on uh, that side, so. How's Mr. Gary doing? How's that PS5 treating you? The wife's still keeping you off of it so she can play. Uh, we've got room if you uh, want to hop in and join us, Gary, for a little while. If you've got time. Oop, can I beat David? Can I beat him? <laughs> oh, you slowed down. Members only? Right on? Just looking at a Nissan Ultimate. Ah, okay. Alright. Kind of kind of making it, uh, keeping it easy then. Cool. Uh, she has more hours logged on than I do, right? <laughs> Won't be able to get on till later. Heading to town with the kids. Ah, I got you, Gary. Right on. No problem. Good to see you. Right now, I got David in here. Uh, Charles is in here running a uh, harvester over in the other field. Josh is uh, bebopping around here doing a little bit of everything. He's that jack of all trades, master of most. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing what needs to be done. He's the filling guy. Is they roust about or something? I think they call that on the uh, on the on the drill machine. Ooh. You missed me, David. 
Can you say Mazda in American now, please? Mazda? <laughs> I got Man, a nice run at Mazda on uh, Grand Turismo. Does that count? Cappuccino. I got a Mazda awesome. 220 mile an hour right now. It's fast. Just be careful with the ultimates. My cousin works on them all the time. It's just the transmissions go out 100,000 miles. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's good to know. Yeah, I've got the same experience. Most of them all, the transmissions need to be replaced at 100k. Oh, there you go. Josh has had ultimate. I think we had a Mazda protege, but same thing. Just needed a new train. He had about 100k. All right. That time, so I can play longer later. 12:30 last night, 4:30 a.m., which was not enough. Uh, I hear it. Yeah, I missed the stream. I was racing last night. I noticed. Uh, I missed you. Uh, Boy was streaming while I was racing. My bad. making pretty good progress on Gran Turismo lately, so been in the mood to do some racing. I'm not normally a real racy, but man, definitely been fun. And uh, get yourself a nice nap, Rusty. Talk to you later, man. Take care, Rusty. I found that Gran Turismo is like one of those kind of things like once you get going, it's hard to get going because you start off with such crappy cars, but once you get going yeah. with customizing cars, it can be really yeah. fun once you get like the right car or a car that drives the way you get going. Yeah. Here, seven, you, you, you can upgrade your cars, but at level 50, they give you, the, they've added the option to do engine swaps, so you can engine swap some cars, uh, motors, and make some of these little more cars go faster like they've got an engine swap now they've got a jeep willies in there you can put a hellcat motor in it and it's like insane it's it's crazy to control you can put a Mazda rx7 engine in that little cappuccino uh, make it super fast and there's a engine swap you can do uh you can put one in one of the fiat the outbursts or whatever they call it you can do the same thing there and in uh uh, a little Mini Cooper, old, old the old school Mini Cooper, with that, put it in that, and those cars, with them being so small, they're like ridiculously fast. They're hard to control, but man, they're, they're fun to drive. A super fast Mini Cooper with a big engine and a and an all-wheel drive swap is one of those favorite cars in those games. Right. Yeah, the, one of the, my favorite cars to drive, we've got uh, the uh, the Nissan GTRs handle. They're one of the nicest handle cars in the game, I think. The, the GTR 500 Nismo. Yeah, GTRs are great. Four player split screen is back now too. Okay. Yeah, not that four player split screen that can that could take a hike. That ain't happening here. <laughs> now if you've got an eighty five inch T V or something like that it might be different. <laughs> Cause then you're still watching on what, a thirty thirty six inch T V or whatever. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Somebody just stole some bail, 1,287. Really? That's all the more we got? I stopped bailing midway once I realized that I can pick it up with the pickup wagon. Ah, okay.
Benji, you gonna make it down this end? I'm pretty sure I will. Seven. Y'all know what time it is, right? Hashtag it. Hashtag it. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's me know how many's been here today. <laughs> Doing actually pretty good. Got 14, 14 likes so far. Awesome. I really wish they put a counter on that. Take much here to fill that back up. Like, all right, there you go, draw. See, this plug down right on. All right, here we go. We'll do it. Same with plug time. Got. I don't know how many people watching, but don't forget to smash that like button. Let's me know. Let you know if you like what I'm doing. Help drive the channel. You're new, feel free to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get those notifications when I go live every day, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern. I'd like to become a member, it's the join button, it's not required, but we greatly appreciate it. Then you can come here and hang out like we're doing today and have some fun. Gary's doing the old same with Pug. Happy hour, yeah, happy hour. Kenny, what's up, buddy? Good to see ya. Still got room. If you want to join? How to get that in the end. Looks like it's sparking on the dirt as it's going up the going up. Y'all see that? When I'm driving up across there, it looks like it's sparking fire. Welcome back, Jelly. Just in time. I'll go up for the Avengers. All right. Now. Oh, nice, man, nice. When I was in college, I used to like doing my laundry at like 2 a.m. when everyone else was out partying. And then I'd just yeah. take up all five washers and all five dryers all at once and just get it all <laughs> done in an hour. Yeah, when I used to do it, I used a big, uh, I only ever did laundry every other, about every other week, every three weeks, because I had a lot of clothes, and I just saved them. It was, it was easy to do it that way. Use the big laundry uh, washing machine. Hey, you parking that truck in the way, David? What's going on? And then I'd always just use two, two dryers and everything dried pretty easily.
supposed to be work to close mines and not remake work at the air base, so we definitely need to have some more close. Ah, here, yeah, yeah. I made sure I had enough clothes when I was working it. I had uh, enough clothes on hand for going a couple weeks and stuff. So. Grand, so that must have been uh, beats to David, uh, sugar beats to David just sold. Nice. Oop, 38. So we must get about th almost 39,000 for. Trailer, it looks like. Looks like probably 38 for each section of the trailer. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Nice. So four oh, bad. bins and is that 120k for 130. Five. 140k. One more pass here. This one, uh, I come back. I'll have to be in there for you, David. If you wanna, uh, you're gonna hang out there. I seen somebody was out there playing in the harvester. Josh doing clean up. Okay, but yes, I have to make sure you guys have to be close because if you have something on the basement, you get to the right spot. Yeah, I hear you, uh, Joey. Do you work in the kitchen or something?
I wasn't as cool as what I thought. Works in the kitchen, right on. Uh, he work on a, uh, is it a big air base then, uh, Joey, that he works at? Uh, rubber band. Uh, rubber band. Uh-oh. That's not good. Are you having lag, Benji? Yeah. <laughs> trying to get it straight. Are you? Trying to get it resolved. <laughs> Looks like he's driving drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> he's all uh, over the place. <laughs> got it now. <laughs> Does that happen a lot uh, with you when you play multiplayer, Benji? It depends. Right now, if I would have had my strong signal, I wouldn't have had this problem. But I'm on the mid mid signal, means we got rain and clouds in the area. Okay. I hear you. Are you on satellite, Benji? No, it's it's. It's actually like a Wi-Fi, but I have a router, and and the distance between the the from from the the closest signal tower, it's I'm not sure oh, okay. where it's coming okay. from, and it ain't Verizon, that's for sure. Had I been on the, had I had a strong signal, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Every time I go up into the, into you know, the red for frames per after second. We had dial up. Uh, Back in the day, we had satellite. The area where we lived at, was, we were the first ones to get satellite internet, and it was a lot nicer than having dial up. But we had it for like three or four years, and they put. Uh, the cable in after that. So much nicer going cable. <laughs> in the area I live in, it's it's very difficult just to get them to bring out the fiber. They still got they're still on the yeah, analog the system. Sweet. Yeah, go for it. It's corn straw, so I don't think we can do anything with it other than sell it. Or not corn straw, but soybean straw. Because I don't think we can use it for animals to get past and sold. Uh, I already tried it. Which is good. It should be decent. That, that should be decent money. That soybean straw. The last time I sold it, made it pretty good.
apparently leased these two harvesters, so that'll be you know, I'm glad I didn't buy them. It's yeah, about the same price as the regular straw, so maybe a little bit more. Yo, Frank, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully you're doing well. Can't wait for the DLC. Oh, All right. Uh, right. We, we've got carrots planted on this map. It's going to be interesting how much stuff gets messed up Tuesday. So, like the maps that already got carrots on it, I think uh, Josh kind of brought that uh, idea up in Rusty's Discord this morning. You know, how much of it's going to be messed up with giant yeah, I wonder the same if, coating, like, or have they used the same, you oh, know? We're good. Just because of the way they're, like, injecting other crops into every map, like, is yeah. that going to break maps that already have those same crops? Oh, yeah, right. Carrots is really the only one I've seen anywhere else, so just maps that have carrots are going to break, I think. Yeah, because the what are the turnips and uh, red beets or whatever they're gonna give us, they're uh, parsnips. Nobody's nobody's ever put them in the, in the game. Carrot now, yeah. So it's definitely gonna be interesting. Open to uh, anybody else wants to hop in here and uh, join and hang out for a couple more hours. That's uh, members only. Let me get to all right. See you, Gary. Have a good one. Thanks, bud. Thanks for popping in. Have a great afternoon with the family. Yeah, we actually have a big field of carrots planted, so. That, that one field that we did last week, we planted carrots in. Oh, I see. It looks like a mower out. Nice. Somebody's got a mower. Nice. Maybe. One more time. Yeah, I was going to do that at the beginning there before I started. I was going to get to grab the mower and piece them up. Uh, I think should be able to do that once we do that. Collect it. Get making some silage out of it. Oh, I looked the header up. Dang it. <laughs> Guess I can't pick up beats if I don't have the header down. Uh, does that have a wider cut on it too, Josh? That mower? No, no, it's just standard. Okay. I didn't know if he made a super cut header or a mower or not. Grab it with the water, pick up on the pickup wagons, then yeah. you'll be able to mow and then just pick everything up at once and it'll take only a minute. Nice. And that pickup wagon does about four to five windrows. So you know, it not all at once. Whoa. Yeah.
Go ahead, you let me know when you're getting close to full. Um, probably get it, get up to the end here and get turned around. Uh, I should be pretty well full. I'm over 90%. I don't, I don't know, Joey. What I'm having to suffer tonight, no clue yet. Just had a chip cam sandwich last night. We, uh, oh, what? Mom bought chip ham the other day. We hadn't had chip ham for a while. Normally, you buy bologna or uh, turkey. Chip That's what I ham? Have. I've never heard of that. Yeah, chipped ham. Yeah, it's processed it's thin, ham. It's, like it's, 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 it's thinly sliced. Yeah. And, and we can cool. The chip, the chip chop, they call it. They you buy it and you can buy it in a great big block at grocery stores and stuff like that. Or uh, they you use them to make sandwiches and stuff out of. You can slice it. You can chip it. You can slice it a little. I like mine sliced. But a lot of people chip it and they put it in a barbecue sauce that have uh, barbecue ham sandwiches, which is freaking amazing. Something like chip beef on gra chip beef gravy. The only difference is it's it's ham. All that processed meat is uh, high in salt. I, I don't recommend. It. But I, I eat it moderately, put it that way. Not like I used to when I was working. You don't have anything like that out there, Josh? Or you just never seen uh, it? I think I've probably seen it. I just, it's not called the same thing, that's all. No, okay. Probably not. It comes in a big blown. Uh, most of the time, I think they're like 24, maybe 30 inches long. And then they're square, probably four, four to five inches square. And then you put it on a meat slicer and then slice it off. Yeah, that makes sense. It sounds, sounds familiar. I think they're a little bit back up on this end up here. No worries, the, the trailer's at that end. Love to do, 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 do more. <laughs> it says Joey, right? Well, we had we had pork chops for lunch, and we ate kind of late. Uh, but the pork chops, man, they were they were really good. We usually have a, our cooked meal at lunch, and then I usually eat left usually eat leftovers since I'm usually screaming when mom eats it. So she usually eats about an hour before me usually. And I'm usually screaming so I usually just eat leftovers when I'm done. Or just make a couple sandwiches or something. Something quick. Yeah, I, I don't have much in here yet, so. What's on four?
the right button. Yeah, here we go. I think I think field four the carrots. Yeah, that's carrots. Is Eureka by the same guy who did Bucks County? Yep. T and T. Yeah, the carrots Yo, field dude, do not what's up, look buddy? Like the other ones. What's that, Josh? The carrots in this field are, they look more like uh, corn, but the carrots that are in the new map are the ones that are coming from Giants next week are very much row crops. Ah, uh, okay. With more of a gap between the rows, kind of like potatoes. Okay, nice. How's Nuke doing? Good to see ya. Thanks for coming by. Still got room here, Nuke, if you want to join. That would be awesome. <laughs> Finishing off the sugar beet harvest. I think uh, Charles just finished that soybean field. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized carrot field, right? <laughs> yeah, field four, that's a lot of carrots. That'll be so, that'll be big bucks. You gotta get a bigger header in there for that field. <laughs> like, yeah. Even like the we new uh, harvesters, which are like four meters wide, that'll take for yeah. Convert. And you gotta drive them. You can't put a worker on it and run beside it, so it's gonna take forever. But I think. Uh, I think we'll have uh, a Colossus header for it to, to work, so. Who knows how long that'll take. Look how long they're backed up doing mods now. But if it's just an update and they're adding uh, I hope they catch carrots, up. they might push through, you know. Would be nice. Oh, kids are going to be happy having carrots for the snowman. <laughs> Got to get snow to have a snowman, though. Watch it, cheesy man. A little bit left down there on the end. Whoa! All right, you want those carrots started? What was that, Benji? You want those carrots started? They ain't done. We just planted them last week. They're still growing. Right now, there ain't anything done. Everything else is uh, growing. Oh, okay, I see it now. So we'll have these two painted. fields to prep. Josh All right. So somebody could. Uh, you can do cultivating of the. Yeah, we'll do do some cultivating, plowing up these two fields, getting them ready. Yeah. And then collect the grass once they do three or four passes. Yeah. Oh, that's it, David. I'm empty. Cool. Is yours empty, David?
Yep. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going into the menu here real quick. Uh, I'm gonna return both them. Did I just leased them. There we go. Boom. Uh, let me see here. We gotta do hashtag for Nuke because he did his uh, Nuke thing. Appreciate you out, Nuke, buddy. Yeah, like I said, Nuke, uh, we've got room here. So if you uh, want to join, we've got room. So. Grab a plow and start uh, doing some plowage. We've got another one over here. Uh, whenever you guys are ready, if you want to. All right, you got a cultivator over there? What was that, Ben? A cultivator. Now we've got uh, the John Deere plow. We'll do some plowage on it. We'll plow it up. Uh, and there are several tractors over here. You can pick which one ever you want. Okay, we've got two, two John Deere plows to use. We need to get another one. We can uh, lose another one. for plowing actually pretty dang fast for plowing yeah, yeah it is it's like two or three that's chad chad <laughs> could you imagine doing that with a two or three meter plow like they do in real life sitting there and just going back and forth across that field holy cow or one bottom plow in the middle of the for tractor. For like two or three days. Yeah, for, for two or three days, right? Might have to get one of the larger tractors. Maybe. There's a lot of farmland around near me. I saw a, yeah. a, a, nine, a 9RT pulling a, a, a really big disc on a huge yeah. field the other day. Driving by. Pulling like a 50, 12 meter disc at least. It's pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing up a huge dust cloud. Yeah, that's when you stop alongside the road and get out and start taking pictures. Like, what the heck are you doing, crazy? I was going to, but we were on our way somewhere. I couldn't listen to my wife. <laughs> she would have Your wife would probably that. smack get alongside. Hey, what are you She's doing? Like, what are you doing? Get back in the car. <laughs> I gotta get a picture for the guys. Stop. <laughs> Me, I stop and I do take pictures. Right? I don't, when I go out, I don't normally take my phone. I usually leave my phone home. There's a couple times I really wish I'd had my phone with me. So I could have taken stopped and took pictures because I see some old stuff, you know. 
Uh, see, my reason, my reason I have my phone on me when I'm out and about is due to the fact, just in case of an of an emergency. Right. Yeah. I don't ever. The only time I go out is to go to the doctor, so <laughs> or go to family stuff, and then I don't need the phone. My phone. I don't actually, my phone's not active, it's used for YouTube and, and stuff like that, so. Right. That's where a lot of my uh, anybody content needs comes Anybody to from. get a hold of me, they call mom, they call my mom, so. Uh, yeah, there's Chad there. Yes, this sucks, about four meters and one mile long roads getting sleepy yeah. oh is he in the tractor right now Paul? yeah he's, he's just getting day, on that, disc cages yesterday too yeah chip choppy at least he has auto steer we don't even have that <laughs> yeah right Lonnie got that new Holland last week, and I think there's a stagger there. Ronnie, I think, is losing it. Yeah, there's two articulated ones there. They yeah. might take it a little faster. It says that top speed is 15 kilometers an hour, so you're close to that. David, yeah. For the grass, yeah. Uh, David, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, go two oh. rows over to your left. Because it has a 100 meter pickup, so it'll pick up all three of those rows at once, but it goes over to your right side. What's up, Luke? Ooh, I'm still watching. Thank goodness for auto steer, I can occasionally type, haha, <laughs> right? David, that has a 100 meter pickup off to the right side. Mine is you roads to pick up four to five wind roads at once. So if you hang left, it'll pick up everything to your right within range. Long road about to be headwinds to the far end. Oh, nice, Chad. Nice. How fast are you going when you're just came? I'm going nine. Whoop. That actually just some of that crap. Yeah. 
It's a cultivator too, so it'll kill the grass. Oh, that wide pickup right pick in deep 